Good morning, Greater Latrobe. From the WCAT TV studios, I'm Alexandria Potter, alongside Kethry Heasley, and these are your morning announcements. Students attending the field trip to the Flight 93 Memorial need to turn in their forms to their social studies teacher by Thursday. Students are also encouraged to sign up for the field trip's remind messages. There will be a SAD Club meeting on Monday, May 1st at 2.30 in Mrs. Hawk's room. Please see her prior to the meeting if you cannot attend. The spring bike trip is going to Pittsburgh this year on May 9th. Anyone interested in signing up should see one of the phys ed teachers for more information. Just a reminder to all 2017-2018 cheerleaders that your payment for the mandatory UCA summer camp and sign release forms are due to Coach Smith no later than this Friday, April 28th. You may drop them off directly to her or ask to have it placed in her mailbox in the 1112 office. We will be back after this commercial. Steelers footballers basketball team versus Lake Trobe faculty. This will be held at Lake Trobe High School Gymnasium. The game will be Friday, April 28th at 8 o'clock p.m. The cost of tickets will be $7 and can be purchased at the Greater Lake Trobe Athletic Office. Tickets go on sale April 18th and can be purchased between 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. daily. There will be a special pregame at 5.30, Lake Trobe faculty versus Dairy faculty. All proceeds benefits go to Chick-fil-A, Leader Academy, and the Dwayne Zimmerman family. For more information, go to the Senior High Athletic Office. Hope to see you there. The Steelers and Junior High Art Show will be on exhibit now through April 27th in the CSC. Stop by and see the beautiful and creative artwork. There will be an evening reception on Thursday, April 27th from 6 to 8 p.m. All are welcome. Congressman Murphy is hosting United States Service Academy Information Day at 8.30 a.m. on Saturday, April 29th at Upper St. Clair High School. Stop in the 1112 office for more information. The German Club will meet today at 2.40 p.m. in B201 Hair Keeper's Room. We will discuss our grand finale of the school year. Thanks to everybody who made German Club such a big success. Get ready to light up Latrobe on Saturday, April 29th with the annual Glow Run. The Glow Run is a two-mile walk run held at Greater Latrobe Athletic Complex beginning at 8 p.m. Receive a Glow Run neon t-shirt if you register before April 7th. At the finish line, runners will join an epic Glow dance party with all of your Wildcat friends. Get your squad together and check out glsdglowrun.weebly.com to sign up. The Key Tech's Energy Scholarship worth $500 is now available. Interested students should check the counseling webpage to apply. The application and supporting documents must be completed and submitted to Mrs. Ryder in the 1112 office by May 1st. Any senior planning to major in education next year should see Mrs. Hager in the 1112 office for the GLEA scholarship application. The essay writing portion will take place in C208 during period 1 and 2 on May 4th with Ms. Singus. Please be sure to pass out the teacher evaluations ASAP. Mountain View Rotary Scholarship has been posted. The committee is looking for students who volunteer in the community. Interested students should see Mrs. Ryder or check the webpage immediately. Experience Works. This summer, work experience prepares young adults in job preparation and success in the workplace. Please see Ms. Hager in the 1112 office for more information. Camp College re registration is open. Camp College is an intensive two-day, two-night workshop designed for rising high school seniors and juniors. Paired with mentors, participants will learn about all aspects of the college search and application process, experience life in the residence halls, learn about financial aid, standardized text, test exams, and have fun. At the end of Camp College, students should be equipped with the tools to navigate the college admis admission process. Sixty students will be accepted to the camp at Allegheny College in Meadville, PA. Online applications are due May 1st and can be located at www.pacac.org. California University is having a free event titled A Trip Through Time on April 29th from 11 to 4. The event will feature living history opportunities in the form of reenactors, hands-on demonstrators, and displays. There will also be a poster contest with prizes awarded in the form of scholarships. Any student who applies to Cal U at this event will have the fee waived. For more information, please visit the events page on Facebook. There is a new paid summer youth philanthropy in internship opportunity for current juniors and seniors. As an intern, you will have the opportunity to learn about the greatest needs in your community, discover how nonprofit organizations work, build your prof professional resume while earning a great salary in a business setting, and meet teams from other counties making a difference while you are making a positive impact in your community. If interested in more details, please see Ms. Hager in the 1112 office. The application deadline is April 31st. 
Employment opportunities for the Rolling Rock Club in Ligonier are posted in the 1112 office student waiting area along with a variety of other job opportunities in the area. Please stop by weekly for new postings. There is also a full-time summer internship opportunity through Unity Township Municipal Authority. Please stop by the 1112 office student waiting area to find out more information. Now here's Jared Bachman Stubbs with the weather report. Good morning, Wildcats. Today is going to be high is going to be cloudy with a high of 77 and a low of 60. Thursdays will also be cloudy with a high of 84 and a low of 56. And Friday will have a high of 75 and a low of 61. That's all for weather. Back to you guys. Next year, a new ninth grade orientation and transition program will be implemented at the senior high school. We are looking for next year's juniors and seniors to serve as link leaders. Here's more information about the program. As a freshman, you're kind of coming in not knowing where anything is, not knowing anybody. It's actually really scary, honestly. The school is like a lot bigger here. We all have experienced that first time into a new big building with a whole bunch of new kids, and you get to see them come in with the big eyes and slowly through the different activities that are planned, kind of come out of their shell. I was very much welcomed by the Link Crew people. It's an important program because it connects kids. We kind of roam the halls. We're in all different parts of the school, and you can be like, oh, hey, where's this classroom? And we'll be like, oh, hey, I know where that is. Hey, we have this class together. And then they can feel like they know someone and they're not as alone. And the curriculum is very intentionally inviting of ninth graders coming into the building. We're looking at dropout rates. Ninth grade is such an integral part of their, you know, if they have a successful year, they're likely to stay in school and be connected to the school. This group of leaders that we have, our student leaders, is just an amazing group of young people. I wanted to be a link leader because I like being able to make a difference in the ninth graders' lives. I wanted to give back to the kids what I got as my freshman season. I had actually one of my neighbors be my link crew leader. I felt like I should be doing this for other freshmen too, especially for my little brother. They get an opportunity to lead, an opportunity to change their school, change the environment in the building, you know, an opportunity to connect to some of those younger kids. It's a great program. I'm, I'm glad we have it. If you would like to be a link leader, pick up an application for Mrs. Kuhn in the 910 office. Now here's Nick Malizia with the sports report. Good morning, Wildcats. It's time to hear about your daily sports. The baseball team has the Thomas Jefferson High School for their game tonight at 4 o'clock, and the boys' volleyball team has a home match against Plum tonight at 7.30. In other sports news, congratulations to Letterman's Club Athlete of the Week, senior Zach Kikoska. Zach has held the baseball team to go 6-1 over 4-0 and zero in the section with his 600 batting average. Zach is 12-20 for 20 with two home runs, four doubles, 14 RBIs, and runs second and no strikeouts. His on-base percentage is 6.25 and is an amazing 1.1 slug slugging percentage. Congratulations, Zach. That's all for sports. Back to you. For WCHE-TV, this has been Catherine Heasley and Alexandria Potter. Thanks for watching and have a great day.